All right, it is Advent of Code, day 25, the final day of Advent of Code. And uh, yeah, here we go. Components are connected to other components. Divide them into disconnected groups. This is a connected components algorithm. There's two groups. Um, is it literally just connected components? I want to make sure I know this before I start writing. Okay, <clears throat> I think it is. Um, G of K. K is oh, um, VI. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Um, actually, maybe we do want to. Sure. Oh, there's too many of these. Just makes sense. <clears throat> Connections aren't directional. Oh, oh, I see. Um. Ah. There we go. Mm, that doesn't work now. Um. Oh, three wires we need to disconnect in order to divide it into two separate groups. Oh, okay. Um, how many how many wires are there, or how many connections are there? Um, how do I want to do this? That's a lot. That two three is I think too much, so I don't think I can brute force. Um. Should I just write the brute force anyways and try it? Um, really, I think this might be like a union find thing. Is it? Fewest number of edges to disconnect. I should just Google this rather than try and think about it myself because this is a classic problem. Max flow min cut. Ugh. 
Um, I don't want to write max flow min cut right now. Should I just try and write the brute force? But I think it's too much. It's just way too much, right? Um, technically, it's the number of edges, not the number of connections. No, but that's the... Oh, that's even larger. Yeah. Hmm. Do I want to install a library for this? I might have to. <clears throat> Do I have network X installed? I'm not actually sure. I don't know how to use network X. Um, let me see if anyone solved it to see if there's a, oh wow, oh geez. There must be a faster way to do this. Um, is there something heuristic-y I could do? Oh no, I am just blanking on this. Um, I guess the thing I can do is I can like uh, pick two random spots and like BFS from one to the other and see how many paths there are. Um, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Um, this is so hacky. Uh, I don't actually know this will work. Um, so I'm just gonna pick two at random. Um, Pick two at random, and then I'm going to BFS from K1 to K2. Then I'm ever going to see if the um, the set of things is... But what I care about is the set of edges, right? Uh, and that's not quite sufficient, because I could get back through. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, I'm choking. Oh, should I just try and do the... Max cut thing? You know, I, I think I will. That's fine. I don't think the BFS idea would work because of um, the scene set. And I think what I'll do. I guess I just, oh, this is easy. Um, K, B, I. Does that work? Um, okay, and then I think I just wanna do Surely it's not this easy. Um, I guess maybe I still do need to find, pick two things. Um, That's not, um, okay. Is that my answer? That's my answer. And then red, okay, 50 star. Oh, what did I click? Click something random. Oh, okay. I should have I should have gone with network X faster. I've never used network X before in my life. So I was like, I, I kept thinking it would take me way too long to figure out the um, the API for like how to add stuff to the graph. But network X documentation, you know, fantastic. It was right here. Um, I, I looked at this and I looked at this and I'm like, oh, that's all I have to do. Um, this bit about like uh, picking two random keys is like you need to find two things that happen to be in um, in different in, in like 
different parts of the set. Uh, otherwise, you find like a not ideal cut. Um, so I just like keep going until you find something that has a cut value of three. Um, there, there can't be anything with a cut value less than three because, um, um, because, oh, does it always take, it should, yeah, it's, it's like, sometimes it takes more. Um, but here you can see like, um, yeah, so like this time it found a cut that was, um, um, length, or it, it required to cut five edges, not, not three. So it was like not. We happen to pick a K1 and K2 that were in the same, the same true half. Oh man, that was so stressful. I was like, I'm, I'm choking. And I looked at leaderboard filling up. I'm like, how are people doing min cut this quickly? But I guess it's just a matter of if you know how to use network X maybe, or maybe there's some other simpler solution I didn't think of, but man, uh, network X uh, pretty impressive. Um, well, I, I mean, this is like kind of what you expect from a graph library, I guess. Uh, I guess I'm just happy that I was able to write it so quickly having not used it before. Oh man, is the leaderboard full yet? Still filling? Oh. Oh man, what did I end up getting? Um, I got 38 and 34. Oh, okay. I, I think this is not, a, this. where am I at right now? I'm at fourth? There's no way that that stays, is there? That'd be insane if I finished fourth. Oh man, wait, I thought that wouldn't be, wouldn't have been enough to finish fourth. I thought I had to get, um, 63 plus 67, 130. I thought I needed at least like 140 points to get fourth or something. Uh, maybe, maybe I miscounted yesterday. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy I miscounted. Oh, this is so close. I think they, they could pass me any moment now if they end up solving. And there's still, there's still 25. Uh, times two, still 50 points out there to go. So I think, uh, did Jonathan Paulson already solve? Oh, he already solved. Okay, so he can't pass me. I think Antonio didn't solve, so Antonio could pass me. Oh man. Honestly though, even if he passes me and I get fifth, like that'll be fantastic. Uh, I'd be very happy with, with fifth for the year. Wow, well, what a performance at the end, jumping, jumping up from, I was like out of 10th going into day 22 or something. And then I had some really good days the last, last four days. Um, oh man, well, I, I have to keep the video going until this fills up. I have to know where I finish before I, um, uh, before I, before I end the video. Oh, but man, I guess I can tidy up the code a little. Uh, well, there's not really much to tidy up. It's really just this. Um, I, I don't need this graph anymore. Um, I don't need this either. Wow. This code is like so succinct. Um, and I don't need this. And then the answer is just um, <laughs> this was this was pretty hacky, but um, I guess I can make it uh, something else. But it, it doesn't really matter. Um, oh wow! Whew. All right, let's refresh. It should be about time. I don't see Antonio. And hundred is hit here. How about here? No one's passed me. Still, still six more spots to go. I mean, that's only six points though. So maybe that's like, oh yeah. Oh, th th that's it. I think six points is not enough um, for Antonio to pass and Jonathan Paulson's already solved. So I guess that's uh, it's official. I'm finishing in fourth this year. Wow, that's crazy. That's my highest ever finish. I am really happy with that. Oh, but man, <laughs> just look at these gaps. I, I remember I was looking at the leaderboard um, last night trying to figure out like how good of a day I would need to get what like rank. Um, and the top three are just completely way out of reach for basically anyone else. The, the, this is kind of wild. It's like 400 points between me and third place and then another like almost 300 points. And then, oh, I, I, guess, I guess two and one are pretty close right now. Um, Xiaowu had like a massive lead at some point. I, I guess this is still like a pretty big lead, but but man, all right, is it is it official? It's official. That's uh, the end of Advent of Code 2023, uh, and that is the end of day 25. That is all I have for for today and for this year. Um, well, not really. I, I have a bunch of old videos from the previous days that I still have to upload, so I'll be uploading those over the course of the next few days. Um, but uh, that is 
th this is the final ranking. Uh, this is where I finished this year. Man, I I'm really happy about fourth. I didn't think that this would be possible going into today. Oh, man. Cool. Well, that is it for today. Um, I will keep posting some videos. So in that sense, I might see you tomorrow. Um, but uh, that is it for Advent of Code. Bye. See you next year.